We're gonna head down to the pumpkin patch and see how we did this year. Uh, squash bugs and the squash bugs and the vine borers kind of got to our plants before all the bugs get all of our pumpkins. And I wanted to go get them picked. So here we go, off to the pumpkin patch. I got a little Darcy girl following me. Uh, this is our best year with pumpkins. We got some really nice sized ones, but I noticed last night the squash bugs have gotten really bad in this area. And I don't want them to ruin our pumpkins. So I'm going to come over here, start cutting them, line them up, and then this evening we'll gather them up. You can see most of the plants have already died back. There's still a few doing good. I'm going to see if I can find a section with a lot of squash bugs. See, look, like this one, we already lost this one to rot. I found a bunch. So they lifted up this pumpkin. And the stem of this one's not the greatest. Okay, Darcy. So we'll see if it makes it through till Halloween or if it's going to rot before that. I think this one, I haven't found any tags, so I'm not positive, but I think this is a Cinderella pumpkin. Isn't it a cute shape? the bugs have already gotten to which is fine we've got chickens and cows so they'll be able to feed it too it's just unfortunate that we didn't get out here soon enough to get these i told Bo next year we were going to plant pumpkins in the field behind us but because the bugs have been so bad i feel like this is going to be just way too close so we're actually going to go past the hoop house and then go into the field I like to grow a variety of squashes and pumpkins. One that I'm trying new this year is this one. And I'll show you a picture of it real quick. It's really, it is a really pretty gray color. There are some that are just really big. And I'll show you the really big one. I'll show you the normal size one now. This is the cute one. About the size of my hand. But this one down here is the big one. It's like one of these ribs. It's as big as my hand. While I was just going through and picking these last couple pumpkins up, I found a large bit of the squash bugs all over the plants. So not only am I not going to be planting pumpkins in this area, I'm also not going to be planting any squashes or cucumbers that will be also attacked by this. I was doing really good this spring trying to get out here and kill the eggs, but then you get to a point where other things need done than just killing eggs for squash bugs. And it's hard to get them anyhow because most of the time they are under the leaves. So I'm going to show you because there's a cluster right here of the squash bugs. So you can see they're all over and just everywhere down through here. So those are all your squash bugs. And then typically for a vine borer, Typically for your vine borer, it's right here. They get right at the base of your plant and they get in there and they just eat it up. And that's how you lose your plants. Here's another example of this vine. I think I stepped on it, I don't even know if I did, and it just completely came off. And so, there, it's gone. Out of all of our pumpkins, these four, plus there's another one down there on the other side of that nice plant, that is just too rotten and then I'm going to take them straight to the animals. Somehow this one plant still looks really nice but I looked and I there was a couple 
pumpkins and I went ahead and got them. This is our very biggest. I'm going to leave it for Bo to get out of here. It's a very nice pumpkin. I'm hoping the underside of it looks as nice as this top side. All right, just finished picking all of those and I have some of those gray ones that are like the winter squash, the Jarradale or however you say it. Um, it has a very big vine, so if you were to grow them, uh, beware. They vine everywhere. I'm going to show you where they've gotten to. That variety of pumpkins was planted all along here, so at the edge of the corn, and they had went up through here. And then you can see where they have vined all over. And then I came over here the other day because I need to pick tomatoes and I wanted to see how much I had and come to find out not one but two had gotten clear over here and the plant even keeps going up through here and into our walkway in between the beds look I looked down and found a third one these ones are gonna wait I'm not gonna pull them those ones I'm not going to pull. I'm going to leave them because winter squashes take a little bit longer. And we still have like a month or so before our first frost. So they should, as long as the bugs don't get too bad on them, they should be able to get that hard shell that you would typically have for a winter squash. Summer squashes, when you cut, like your zucchini, you cut right through it. You don't have a hard time at all. Your winter squashes, because of that preservation that they have, that makes them winter they can last through the winter they get a harder outside and that's what these kinds are hey guys so i'm heading over to where we put some of the pumpkins i didn't get to wrap up the other day we end up working on some other stuff and then i had to get everybody in for dinner and such as that um, i did get to decorate a little bit over here at the lime sower i'm really excited we're going to get some corn stalks and i got some fall flowers to stick up but i'm going to show you what it looks like so far so there it is. It's going to be so cute. I'm very excited for this little nook in the corner of our property. And it happens to be by the cows and by the new chicken coop. Before we sign off for this video, I just wanted to share that growing something can be more than just production. Yes, we definitely want to get a lot of things preserved. That's why we have a garden. Most people is because they want that uh, security and their food source and that's one of the reasons we grow so much food. That's why we're such a big garden. The other reason is for beautiful things back there. I'm excited to decorate and have our follow up. And then some of these pumpkins will be used for carving. And some of these I will be cooking and storing in the freezer to make pumpkin um, rolls. I make a lot of those over the winter season. Plus, you know, there's a pies and different things like that. And that's just, it's it's beauty and it's also food. And I'm so grateful that they did so well this year and we have a nice little stockpile and I'll have to worry about going to the store for my pumpkin this year. Hopefully we'll have enough. All right guys. Well, until next time, enjoy decorating for fall and we'll talk soon. Bye now.